you know what? You have a problem. And you really need to address your issues. And you know what your problem is? You like to please too many people. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Flick, once again. And today, guys, I'm going to go over why you shouldn't be such a people pleaser. And why are you trying to even impress people? This sounds interesting, guys. Well, let's get to it. But don't forget to go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, and show love to my channel. So see guys, here's the thing. The reason why you're trying to impress people and why you're out there trying to be liked is because you wanna feel accepted. The truth is that you don't see yourself as a valuable person. And thus, you try to use what you have, like your assets, what you gain, or you try to impress people by trying to be this person that you're not. But I wanna let you know, guys, that all this has to do with how you feel about yourself. When you start acting and feeling like a valuable person, believe me when I tell you all this will change and all this happens with self-improvement. Guys, I wanna let you know that if you're out there trying to impress people, out there trying to be liked, it's not gonna work out. And the reason why is because, you see, you can't fake it in this world, guys. In this world, you need to be yourself. You need to be liked for who you are, whether you're an asshole, whether you're a good guy, bad guy, or whatever it is. People need to see you for who you are so they can like you for who you are and you don't have to fake it. The thing about trying to impress women and trying to impress people is that it's only gonna work for so long. Because in reality, you're trying to prove a point. And once that point has been proven and you attain that person or you get that girl, you have to keep living up to those standards. You have to keep impressing and impressing and impressing. And then what happens? Your true colors come out and then you feel and then they leave you. And then you're all in your feelings, guys, because that girl never really liked it for you. She liked you because she thought that you were a version of someone that she thought you were. So this is what I mean, guys, when you are yourself and when you feel good about yourself. You don't have to impress anyone. You don't have to go out there and be liked by anyone because you know who you truly are and you don't quite frankly care what they say or think about you. So then you ask yourself, yo, Flick, so what do I do? There's this girl that I really like and I'm afraid that she's not gonna like me for who I am because I have nothing to offer. Well, this is my answer, guys. If you feel that way, then that girl is not meant for you. See. When that girl is meant for you, it doesn't matter who you are and what you are. You don't have to impress her because right away she'll like you from the get-go. There's nothing that you have to do when that girl is meant for you, she is meant for you. It can't nobody take that away from you. And if she doesn't like you for who you are, then what you do is you start self-improvement. And by the time that you self-improve and you become better, you'll brush her off because you'll say, you know what? She was never worth it. I could do better. Mm -hmm. That's the thing, guys, is that when self-improvement, you'll always achieve and try to be a better version of yourself. Guys, the only reason why I can share this with you is because I was that dude that used to try to impress women. And I was that dude that used to try to fit in and try to belong and feel accepted. Until one day, I just realized that it wasn't worth it. And that's when I started self-improvement. And then when I started self-improving, guys, my mentality changed. I realized that I don't need to be liked. I don't care if I'm not liked. I don't give a damn if that girl doesn't like me or not. For me, they'll always be better. And for all those people that can't accept me for who I am, tough luck. I am who I am. Whether I'm an asshole or not, it is what it is. I will always stay true to myself. And within me, I know what I deserve and what I don't deserve, guys. And that's the way you should be living.